this is the last chapter about uh, Jasper, and uh, we will talk about uh, a special group of material that is called Jasper Gate because it's a mix of Jasper and Agate. Mm, we are <coughs> always in the group of chemical Jasper, the Jasper mm, produced by precipitation in cavity, and uh, uh, ad with the difference with the other three group of jasper that are uh, produced by transformation of previous material as uh, opal in oceanic jasper, as uh, in volcanic glass in volcanic jasper, and on um, organic material like wood or bones in jasper, in some jasper or fossils. So the group of chemical jasper um, as has been classified in few uh, groups uh, and uh, the more generic one is uh, the laminated jasper where laminas are the main structure of uh, formation of jaspers and uh, there is two important group that are mm, a kind of secondary transformation uh, or after this laminated jasper that is the orbit jasper and the brichetted jasper that usually two structures that usually mm, erase the original laminated structure. And the, gr the group of Jasper Gate is uh, a kind of mm, mix of uh, cavity where mm, precipitate together some Jasper and some agate or calcium. Okay, um, as a generic term we can call Jasper Gate any material that have uh, two components, like some stuff that have clearly clear just area, jasper area, but also some kind of transparent material that is uh, chalcedony. Uh, so, depending on people, uh, it can be it can be called agate or jasper, uh, and this not referring as a generic term but is just a descriptive term and we see that uh, uh, a kind of jasper gate uh, can be a brichetted ja jasper that is formed by dissolution of a uh, normal jasper that can be laminated or other kind of jasper and mm, by a chemical process along fracture or uh, joint between lamina um, the jasper can be dissolved and mm, replaced by uh, chalcedony. So this is a chemical process is, and it's not a, a physical process because uh, we know that it's too difficult to produce the fragmentation of a jasper that is very tough material uh, by physical process. So mm, mm, the, the formation of brechetted jasper as we've seen in the, other, uh, in the last chapter is uh, a, f a chemical process. Also, we can call jasper gate some kind of agate that uh, we know that are agate because, uh, for example, uh, meconil is from a deposit uh, where nodular banded agate are very common, but some nodules are uh, so mm, filled by mm, moss that mm, can result in some material that look more like a jasper than like an agate. So. Uh, this is true because moss and jasper uh, are very similar material. And we see uh, these two samples where uh, and two nodules from two different deposits that are clearly jasper at the beginning uh, also show some stalactite on the top. Uh, stalactite is a structure typical of uh, chalcedony because jasper usually make lamina on the bottom of the cavity but chalcedony usually stick on the wall of the cavity so uh, the, the fact that uh, jasper stick on the uh, superior wall of the cavity and tend to drop down and make stalactite is a process more typical of chalcedony and also we see that the interior of, of the, uh, the stalactite are in some case made of 
clear jasper with some color this one but in some case like in this case is more like a moss so we have a kind of yellow jasper here but here is more mm, filamentous material and the the corresponding jasper is this one that the same color but also this kind of moss uh, drop down and make jasper so we are here in a sample at the transition between jasper and the chalcedony um, we don't know exactly in many material if the uh, condition are changed abruptly or there is a transition of or there is a gap of time between the two process in this case we can see this is this was an agate with plume on the border and the the filling is laminated jasper also in this case uh, there is plume agate or chalcedony on the board and uh, inside is jasper but we don't know how many time is passed between the two process also some jasper nodule can be half filled by jasper and then there is the formation of an agate in the top of the nodule like uh, this one or this blue mantle so here there is a changing uh, of chemical condition but we don't know the, the time same as in brecciate jasper that there is a change in chemical condition but probably the, the jasper was just hardened so uh, there there is a, a lapse of, of time between the two process <laughs> the contrary in this sample uh, there is a continued transition so this is a nodule from a deposit of agate in North Morocco, Karushin deposit, and this uh, beautiful agate with many plumes. But in this sample, we see stalactite made of moss, mossy jasper, and uh, at the bottom there is a clear jasper on the floor. And this yellow is the color of the jasper, so we are sure that stalactite is are responsible for the dripping that form this jasper. But the jasper, if uh, um, transition uh, to a mossy material here and to chalcedony so uh, this transition is gradual so <coughs> there is a change in chemistry during the formation of the nodule and also we know that stalactite uh, for to be preserved in this state because there are they are very fragile structure um, the nodule was always filled by solution if you have a, a, an event of dry for of mm, desiccation of the nodule uh, this structure must to, to be to have broken broken down and there would be many structure at the base with uh, desiccation crack or, or the structure of mm, drying so we are sure that this nodule have never been dried completely so this uh, change from uh, jasper to moss to chalcedony is transitional in during the same process and from another part of the world from arizona the brenda deposit we see a very similar phenomenon stalactite on the top of the the cavity and jasper of, on the bottom and this deposit uh, most of, of the nodule uh, show similar pattern and we can see the jasper can be mm, with different structure this is more moss material can be very thick but always we have stalactite at the top there is some jasper sticked on all the wall that is how we, as we see a character more typical than more typical of uh, chalcedony because we never found laminated jasper with uh, jasper all around the cavity and also um, when the jasper is thick in some case it's possible to find a very thin fine orbicular structure that is not like the real orbicular structure that as we know is a structure of the vitrification of uh, volcanic glass 
uh, as we see for rheolitic jasper, but is a structure very similar. And we know that chalcedony, if, if the tendency to make uh, orbicular structure mm, or globular structure, so this structure remember mm, some characteristic of uh, chalcedony. So there is many indication that we are near the border. So this is another <coughs> sample of the base, the basal mm, jasper inside uh, a, a Brenda nodule with fine uh, orbicular structure. This is from, from another deposit, but we have the same uh, uh, small orts and some fracture in the middle that are very typical. And the same structure we found in, the, in this raster tail agate from Mexico is very, very colorful mm, material that is usually called uh, moss agate, but there is many structures similar to Brechetti Jasper, to Orbicola structure, some the same fracture that we see before. So this material is more in between a Jasper gate than a Brechetti Jasper. This is another deposit from Cadi Mountain where it's possible to see stalactite and a lot of jasper on the base. And this is an another sample from, say, deposit, where we see at the base of the nodule that was bigger, uh, some real jasper here, but uh, under it some material that is more similar to moss with a lot of calcedony mixed with. This is another material from the Laguna a area in Mexico is a, a, a vein agate <coughs> called a inferno agate uh, because of the colors and in this case we see a, a lot of stalactite um, more typical of chalcedony with, with banding and filamentous material but at the base we see that the moss can be very tough uh, more similar to, to jasper and in some case we can see a slumping on, a, on the slope and many uh, structure of uh, uh, gravity control phenomena and depending on the area the uh, moss can be very tough and more similar to jasper so it's quite in between mm, jasper and agate so we can s we can uh, resume that we can have a continuous uh, in, in in the condition uh, at the transition from the formation of a jasper and the formation of an agate we have a transition continuum and we pass uh, across a, gr a small group of jasper gate so we have uh, some jasper where um, the chemistry change a little enough uh, for the jasper to stick on the on the wall on the roof uh, of the cavity and make stalactite. That is a character more typical of chalcedony. And in the formation of agate, this is more normal, and the mm, the moss form inside the cavity, inside the chalcedony, and they fall down at the base of the, the cavity and make like a small hill made of moss. So in between the two groups there is the jasper gate where um, the materials stick on the wall but the dripping produce a real jasper at the base and this jasper have a transition to the formation of an agate in the middle. So these three, uh, three, three samples, three kinds of formation are uh, almost the same stuff with the same composition uh, only uh, what is changing is the pH so there is a small change in the chemistry but the composition is the same we, we know that from chalcedony and to and jasper there is not um, any difference in the, in the chemistry and in just there is small difference in in the shape of of the crystal of the microcrystal so <coughs> this is a continuum and uh, in jasper gate is just in the middle in, in the middle 
And, the, and there is uh, two different in Jasper gate in respect to Jasper. One is that Jasper is more mossy, more similar to moss than in real Jasper, the laminated Jasper, that Jasper is porcelain. Here, the Jasper is a little bit moss. And the other difference is that uh, the viscosity is higher. So mm, uh, the lamina are not flat, horizontal. Uh, that uh, means that they are more fluid. So they fall at the base. They rapidly fill the, mm, the more deep part of the cavity. And rapidly, the lamination become horizontal. But in this case, the 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 lamina is more uh, along the the base and maintain the shape so uh, it can stick a little bit on this wall without too much uh, gravity control so uh, this jasper is more viscous than this jasper that is more liquid and this is normal be because we s we know that the the passage to agate uh, go toward the direction of something that stick o on the cavity wall so it's not at all uh, 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 liquid because the viscosity must to be very high to be sticked on the wall so uh, we have two cases um, one in the uh, Jasper gate where uh, a material that look like moss drip from from the roof and make a jasper at the base uh, and a material that look more like a jasper but uh, we see in in Brichette jasper that uh, a, a real jasper uh, is alterated by chalcedony and become a material more similar to moss this this mean that uh, moss and jasper are uh, two kinds of polymer uh, of the silica that from a structural point of view and a chemical point of view are very close. So uh, moss and jasper are really very similar material. So there is a large group of material, uh, quite ambiguous, and uh, the generic term jasper ga gate is the better form to define because it is quite difficult to verify if this material is uh, a kind of very thick moss agate or a jasper that has, has been reabsorbed strongly. So you need more information about the deposit, about the other, uh, mm, uh, the other nodule, the other uh, uh, material that is found in the same area. This is an another material that look uh, like a brecciate jasper, but also like a moss agate. This is uh, a cavity filling material that have a stratification of jasper, but we see that this jasper have strange shape and pass through the eye with uh, to a more moss material. Also, this is the raster tail agate is a material with many structure very similar to Brecciate Jasper and with mossy area and uh, in some area there is mm, orbicola structure of the Jasper it's quite difficult to, to define also if it, it is called a, a negat there is ma many aspects that are more similar to, ja to Jasper this for example is <coughs> a, m a kind of moss agate but this uh, structure of the moss the shape of the moss is more characteristic of Brichette Jasper. Also this piece have a strange appearance, some gravity control stuff, but broken piece, a lot of calcedony. It's quite difficult to, if you don't know the, 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 the wall deposit. This, for example, mm, have many structure typical of Jasper. Here at the base there is a more, more Jasper type material, but the upper part is more like a moss agate so uh, if uh, we are sure we are sure that we enter in in the field of of agate with moss so moss agate when 
the most is are more filamentous that we know is the the more typical structure of uh, uh, formation the, the position of polymer in in uh, in chalcedony so when the the structure are clearly filamentous we are more in the in the field of agate but in, in any case uh, every time we are uh, in a in in a deposit that are so uh, thickly moss uh, thickly mm, filled with moss uh, we know that we are i in condition chemical condition very near to that mm, for the formation of jasper so in the next chapter we start to talk about uh, chalcedony and we will see that some of the, the structures are typical of the uh, formation of chalcedony and uh, is a totally different one.